Welcome to my channel, Living Linux. You might be wondering why I am running Windows at the moment. But Windows also has a subsystem for Linux. So you can actually run Linux software on Windows without having to install a virtual machine or something like that. So in two earlier videos, I showed you how to run Stable Diffusion on ARM hardware. And I'm now running Windows on ARM, as you can see, with the Snapdragon 8CX Gen 2. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Book Go 5G, although I'm not using 5G, but the advantage is, is that you get the 8CX Gen 2 and the non 5G model has the 7C and that one is slower. Installing the Linux subsystem, it's not very hard. Um, although I did notice that when I just executed this command, um, it gave an error and I just executed it like this. So the distribution name in my case is Ubuntu. And then it would work. So if you have some problems installing the Linux subsystem, then I'll put this link in the description of this video. And then there are other options uh, because you can actually um, download the package. And I'm not using a Microsoft account. I'm only using a local account. So yeah, Microsoft wants you to use their app store as much as possible, but that is something that I am trying to avoid as much as possible. So, uh, but as I said, I'll, I'll put this uh, link in the description of the video. So you can just follow this tutorial. You can skip the part about writing the image to an SD card because we're using the Linux subsystem. Um, you have to update the system and then just follow these instructions. And yeah, you have to be aware that sometimes they put the username in the directory. So you need to replace that with your own username. And yeah. yeah, so when you run it, then you also have to change the path with your own username. So as I said, you can just follow this tutorial. It's not too complicated. And as you can see, I just uh, did the same uh, prompt. And well, I don't know if he already did some prompts before, but um, yeah, just one more thing that you might wonder how you can access um, the files in the Linux subsystem from Windows. And as you can see, you can open the Windows Explorer and then just enter this path. Or when you're in your Linux subsystem, you can do explorer.exe space dot. So as you can see here, as I did here, 
and then it will open the explorer in your current directory. So so here is the image result. I already opened it and it's well I would say very different from the image in the article uh, I guess that it tried to uh, imagine the horse and the astronaut on Mars by depicting it sort of like in space with the stars uh, it looks like he has a third arm I'm not really sure and this is a very peculiar way to saddle up on a horse but I guess um, if you try to do some more images that things will get better over time because then you can start training um, the model so I'll put all the relevant links in the description of the video and I hope you can have a lot of fun with stable diffusion with the Linux subsystem in Windows. So that's all for now and I hope to see you again in my next video.